assigned. Delivery parameters updated. Time limit set. I went ahead and grabbed an additional order, a timed order for Hartman because that's where we are headed next. Anyhow, and where is his lab in relation to where we are now? Okay, so he's about 805 meters away and cool. There is a zip line at the top of this mountain, so maybe we'll get lucky and we can just zip all the way back to Hartman. Well, shitbags. It looks like no, there are no adjoining. Oh, wait, don't fall. That was not good. There are no more zip line connections here, but let's just go ahead and make our way in this direction. And hopefully, we'll encounter another zip line. But if not, maybe we'll just go ahead and. Construct one. Let's see if we can make our way down the slope over here. Oh no, we certainly don't want to go that way. Maybe up here, on this peak, would be a good place to drop another zip line. Let's go ahead and check for distance and line of sight. Okay, so we have line of sight, but do we have distance? And no, it does not look like... Oh, yes we do. All right.
Let's take a quick survey here and see what zip lines are within sight. So there is the one that we dropped prior and it looks like it is 228 meters away and there are two more but it looks like they are out of line of sight. Can I maneuver this so that it is within line of sight of that one to the left? And, oh, I think it's out of range just the same. It's 314 meters away, so let's see if I can find a place where at least two points converge. Apparently Sam just needs a moment to rest and gather his thoughts. So let's allow him that because he has been working quite hard lately. I'm going to do one more zip line check and see what is within range and or line of sight. Wait, that down there is 308 meters away, but it's within range. But earlier we saw that 302 meters was too far away. That's not consistent. So I wonder what the range actually is. Let's go ahead and drop this right here and then we'll zip down to it because I think Hartman yep only 238 meters away so oh you need to rest again already let's go ahead and rest because we have no other option you are really tired today Sam I have been working you quite hard. Let's go ahead and drink some monster energy drink. And then we'll hop on this zip line and zip down below. And there is Hartman's lab right there. So conveniently we are almost we are almost here and I think this actually may be the point that we used to get up the side of the mountain from Mountain Knot City when we initially set out for Hartman with Mama's corpse oh that dropped me right on the edge look at that that is quite precarious that would not be good if we fell after getting all the way here. Can we walk away safely? Yes, we can. Thankfully, that would that would really suck if we got all the way here and the zip line dropped us right on the edge and we fell off and we were fucked. Speaking of fucked, the battery is depleted yeah. in the active skeleton, so it is no longer helping to carry our load. Oh, that's, that's a pretty apparent difference right away. So I need to make my way down this slope carefully because the active skeleton is no longer assisting us.
detected. All weapons will be locked until departure. Cargo verified. Thank you. Here we are once again at Hartman's lab, and that was not too difficult, mostly due to the fact that we conveniently had two zip lines, one to get us initially to the top of the mountain, and the last to get us most of the way back down. So, that was definitely advantageous. Let's go ahead and deliver this cargo. Delivering cargo. Delivery complete. Displaying performance evaluation. Thank you, Sam. In reclaiming our past, we've uncovered a number of vital clues. Don't worry, I just got back. We have time. When you met with Mama, you experienced a strong antigen antibody reaction, correct? There was a BT in the room. There was, but something else may have been causing it. I've discovered large quantities of chiral matter in mama as well. Not just the usual kind that collects on our skin or on our suits. It's in all her cells. Cells that are no longer active. The BT you encountered there was special. It was her child, but also her own soul. Somehow, her car and half failed to separate. They must have remained connected through the umbilical cord. It's the only explanation. Is that why I didn't get a bruise where she touched me? Yes, and there's more. 10 seconds to cardiac arrest. Five, four, three, two, one. I modified the log times. Headquarters will have no record of what we say. Look, a message from Dead Man. It came with the umbilical cord. Sam, uh, I'm sorry. You deserve to know what you were carrying. But I couldn't risk Die Hardman finding out about the case. So I had no choice but to keep it off the books. You've got to keep this between us. We still don't know if the director can be trusted. The umbilical cord was taken from Bridget Strand. I removed it in secret. The cord wasn't attached to a fetus. It was outside her body. She asked me to take care of it. Said it was the key to unlocking the death stranding. But she insisted that I never tell the director. The cord shows no sign of decomposition or necrotization. Almost as if it's frozen in time. I thought Hartman might be able to make sense of it. So I had it hidden with your cargo at Mountain Knot City. Dead Man's observations were accurate. It's just like Mama's corpse. What do you mean? I mean they share a very unique property. Both contain large amounts of Corellium in their cells. In other words, the President's cord was somehow connected to the beach, and that allowed it to escape the flow of time. I've put together the bones of a theory. It's patchy, but worth sharing, I think. Life on Earth has been rocked by many extinctions great and small, including the big five. 
And if you examine the Earth's strata, its history, if you will, you'll find corellium deposits that can be dated to each. What if the manifestation of, uh, of beaches and other associated phenomena correspond to extinction-level events? You mean? Yes. Our Death Stranding could just be the latest of many. The records and research you helped us to recover strongly suggest that we are in the middle of the sixth extinction. Sixth extinction? Come on. You know what this is, yes? A frozen mammoth from 10,000 years ago. Correct. And this? The Iceman from our uh, five, 5,300 years ago. They both had the same umbilical cords. Ugh, bullshit. Humor me. What if the mammoth and the Iceman weren't frozen? You're saying time stopped for them just like it did for Mama? Hmm. Unfortunately, all these specimens were lost in the Death Stranding, so there's no way to examine the genuine articles. But some fragments of data did survive. With the aid of the chiral network, we may be able to piece together something more concrete using Evodevo tech. All right, how's this? A dinosaur from 65 and a half million years ago. Umbilical cord, not decomposed. Uh -uh. Only mammals have umbilical cords. Mm -mm. No, only mammals have umbilical cords used for childbirth. This is something else. Call it a strand from the um, other side. I propose that mammalian umbilici are a sort of mimesis of the strand that then evolved over time. We shouldn't assume that everything about a death stranding is detrimental to life. Trilobites, ammonites, dinosaurs, the mammoth, the iceman, all preserved as if frozen in time, all without exception, found with strands. Which is to say that all may have been connected to the beach. And this, when viewed in the context of the extinction entity, EE theory, leads me to surmise that organisms with strands are in fact extinction entities. You see, Sam, E's are connected to the beach via their strands. And it is through this connection that they somehow bring about a death stranding. So you're saying Bridget was an extinction entity? It's far too soon to say anything for certain. And since you burned her body, we may never know. Hicks said Amelie's an EE, that she doesn't have dooms like the rest of us. Sam, think. Assume that President Strand was an EE. Isn't it possible that her daughter is too? At the very least, Higgs may hope as much now that the President is unavailable. So he kidnaps her for EE powers or whatever to cause a mass extinction? Hmm. Perhaps, perhaps not. I doubt a single EE is powerful enough to cause a death stranding. Assuming Amelie is an EE. Well, Higgs sure thinks she's got what it takes. Indeed. And we need to get her back as soon as possible. One minute remaining. Please hold on to something secure. Ah, this one is real. Sam, go west. How do you want me to handle Di Hardman? With your customary reserve. Nothing good will come of him learning of our suspicions. Whatever else is going on, we still need the chiral network. All right. Activating lab security measures. Five, four, three, two, one. It's time, Sam. When you're ready, proceed to the shore of the tar belt and begin work on the chiral relay. 
Once it's ready, use the Cupid to bring it online. The necessary materials are prepped for you. Supplies are limited, so handle them with care. You'll be carrying a lot, too. All things considered, this might be one of your hardest runs to date. Hartman knows more about the site than I do, so he'll take it from here. It's about time for his wake-up call anyway. Administering shock. Stand clear. Right. About that way station. The site we have chosen was an original candidate for the way station we lost to the tar melt. Uh, ironically, we suspended construction because we deemed it a little too unstable and not worth the risk. But this time, it's our best shot. So let's hope we weren't right to change horses in midstream. Fortunately for us, the foundation we laid down is still intact. All you have to do is transport the necessary materials to the site and finish the job. I'm afraid it's the only way we can expand the network further west and rescue Armory. We're counting on you, Sam.